Hi guys, Paul with PA Brew News. Got one more beer for this evening from the Founders Brewing Company. I think from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Rapids. It's on the front. Sorry. I'm an asshole. Okay. A bottle on 10 26 20. Coming in 11% alcohol by volume. This is their Maple Mackinac Fudge. Mackinac. I meant to say Mackinac. I don't know why I said that. I had a stroke. Maple, maple Mackinac Fudge. And of course, it's the KBS version of. Maple Mackinac Fudge. <clears throat> so, there we go. And this is Imperial Stout with Mackinac Fudge Coffee, Maple Fudge Coffee, okay. Mackinac Fudge Coffee, Maple Syrup, and Chocolate Aged in Oak Bourbon Barrels. So there we go. Now we have all the stuffs. So let's get it into a glass and try it. KBS is, is always extremely drinkable. As far as like the body, the hidden alcohol, alcohol, I don't know why I said alcohol like that. Uh, the hidden alcohol, the hidden ABV, the whole deal. I have a feeling, I think the espresso is kind of like, I'm just picking up fucking bottle caps all over the place. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to have the same kind of effect because the espresso one was the same way. Lighter body, you know, the espresso was shown a little bit more than the normal. Still that same drinkability, still in the you know, 11 plus category. Just had a 2020 Goose Island as well. And it was alright. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but it was good. It hit the ABV really well, again, which is crazy. Goose Island has a better body though, it doesn't have the same drinkability as... And it doesn't hide the ABV just slightly as well as KBS, I've found anyway. So. Up to the light, there is no pinnacle in this glass, it's pretty flat, flat bottomed. A flat bottom girl, I like a fat bottom girl, but a flat bottom girl. So no rind of a ruby hue on this one. And then, here we go. We'll just put the little nubby, nubby, right there. Okay, spin it around. Really, of course, alcohol like stick from that 11% alcohol by volume. Actually, a very beautifully tight, tight head, tight pinky of head. Just a nice little almost cake, not quite baker's chocolate head. An aroma, cheers. It does smell like fudge. Okay. Oh, I'm just getting hit with stuff. Got hit with some nice uh, caramel peppery bourbon. Maple maple syrup caramel peppery bourbon. Got the, uh, I just slept for like 12 fucking hours. I can't believe my eyes look like this. Son of a bitch. Well, yeah, definitely chocolatey fudge. Coffee. Caramel peppery bourbon wafting up. There is a methanol alcohol wafting through this glass, though coming through that fudge. It's like fudge, alcoholic fudge. I wonder if they made fudge with alcohol before. It would just burn off, wouldn't it? Probably. Not if you flambe, if you take fudge and then you pour alcohol on top and burn it. It'd still burn off. I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. I act like I'm really tired, but I just slept all day. Well, I probably just, I probably didn't, I slept too much, I didn't wake up yet. I didn't have any coffee or anything either. I need my coffee. I'm a drug addict. I'm a drug addict. I need the caffeine to function. Wow. Woo! Okay. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers. Wow, why are my eyes looking so, oh, they didn't even look this bad in the last review. Holy fuck. I'm looking at myself going, what the fuck? I'm packing for a family of four with luggage under my eyes. Maybe I'm allergic to something in the last beer I drank. Because my eyes weren't like this in the last one. Weird. Weird. Okay, cheers. Hmm. 
little bit boring. Yeah. Not crazy. Not crazy fudge wafting around the palate chocolates. Kind of whoo, right down the middle. Nuances of fudge. Nuances of a slight maple syrup. A lot of beautiful nuances of that charry fudge. The little rind, the ring around the pan of that charry fudge brownie. I love fudge. Food. Betty Crocker or whatever the fuck it is, or even the cheap one that my mom used to get. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I think I have a pack of it. Let's see what it is. I think I have a pack of it. I think my mom used to get something else too. But yeah, it's got that quality to it, which is great. I love that. But it's not really giving it into the beer, like like really letting you indulge yourself. It's not an indulgent, decadent beer, if you know what I mean. It goes down like a drop. Again, low side, or medium side of a medium body, high side of a medium body. It's always in that wheelhouse. It really doesn't get into that full body category, that uh, KBS. Seems like the more adjunct to give to the beer, the lower it actually kind of falls, which is weird. The ABV is playing into this beer too. The ABV is wafting through, kind of like a like a prism, blowing it out, shooting out all the flavors all over the fucking place into different colors. If you're in your mouth, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But you know, it's, it's it's kind of wafting up through there and goes pow, and then instead of letting it sit on your palate and absorbing all those flavors, this ABV comes up as a kind of. Never mind. And it all goes on your, in this area. Kind of comes up through and you get it like in this area. You don't get it on your tongue. In the back of the palate, around the sides. Like you would normally do. Where the caramel is here and the pepperiness is here and that with that earthiness. You know, I've, I've drank enough goddamn KBS. This is just something that just kind of goes right into your nostrils. <clears throat> because that's what ABV does. I mean, when the ethanol alcohols come through, they go right through your sinuses. Like a ghost, like a nose ghost. I can't remember the word for nose in German. Like a nozzlegeist. <laughs> I mean, there you go. reach for hell and I can see and I am free in my darkest fantasy I reach for hell and I am free Ooh, it's weird it's a good beer it's it's interesting it's a nice little beer it's just not bombastic you know what I mean it's not really getting into your face and going yeah you know, you know, yelling at you. It's a lot of ABV coming through that glass into this nose. Which I'm not used to with this. Usually the ABV is really an undercurrent. You know what I mean? You don't see it. It's there moving things along, but you really don't see it. Michigan didn't even invent old-fashioned fudge, but it was perfected here, apparently. We pay tribute to this time-honored tradition with KBS Maple uh, 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 Sorry. Mackinac Fudge. By amplifying the rich chocolatey notes of KBS using Mackinac Fudge Coffee, excuse me, then adding maple syrup and aging it in oak bourbon barrels. 
We've created a bold new take on our on our 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 barrel aged classic, one that can only have originated in Michigan, Michigan. So there we go. I read like shit. I wrote a book, but I read like shit. <laughs> it's one of those kind of things. Hmm. What does that say? The Amazing Cosmics. Mickey's? Cosmickey's? Cosmic Yoto Apple. Little death head. Let's put a little death head right there. They, they're noted for that weird, weird shit, aren't they? <laughs> Funny. Anyway, yeah, I've, been, I've lingered too, far too long with this review. I've hit the percentage of ABV for the minutes. So let's wrap this thing up. So, yeah, it's there. Beautiful little fudge notes along the sides. It's really not in the body. Um, there's going to be a lot of people disappointed with this beer. There's a lot of people that are going to like this beer. It's one of those kind of polarizing things where <clears throat> they're not going to hate it. They're just going to be really disappointed with it. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um, it's definitely in the solid category. It's nothing less than the solid category. 7.5. But I like the beer. I think it is good. And it is something that gives you the, all the as advertised as well. But out of a good portion of KBS beers that I've had, it's on the lower side. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the KBS Maple Mackinac Fudge. It's just, it's good. It's just not for everybody. And I wish they had a lot more things going on. But other than that, there you go. This is Paul Beer Beers. Cheers. Mm. Watch that finger. Here it goes. Bye-bye.